Hello, I'm Cedric from the Copernicus Marine User Support. Thank you for watching this video to get a good start with the Copernicus Marine Service data. The main data entry point of the Copernicus Marine Service is the catalog. You can access it by clicking on Access to Product in the menu Service Portfolio or on the Ocean Product Insert on the main page. On the catalog main page, you can see the list of products as cartouches. On the left side of the screen, you will access to the search tool to specify your need. You can search by keyword, such as temperature, or by different filters, regional domain, parameters, temporary coverage, product with depth level, and you will only display products that offer water column data as opposed to products that offer surface data only. For this session, for regional domain, I will choose the Black Sea. You can see here all the other areas available on the Copernicus Marine Surface. You have Global, Arctic, Baltic, North Wall Shelf, Iberia, Biscay Island, and Mediterranean Sea. For the parameters, I will choose the temperature. All the parameters available are listed here, and you can see them using the leaf on the right. I will let the temperate cover value as default, and I select the product with depth level to have data for the wall water column. Here it's important to note that the list of products is established using the end operator for each addition of new selected criterion, and you can reset your search using the reset search filters button at the bottom. On the right part of the screen, you will have the list of the products matching your criteria. Here, three products are matching. You can export the results of your search in a PDF format file, clicking on Expert Results here. So, as I said earlier, for each product, a short description, also called metadata, is presented in a cartridge form here. What information is available on a product cartouche? For instance, if I take the first product, the Black Sea Analyst Forecast Physical Product. So here you can find the product identifier. It's unique and it holds one or several datasets sharing common parameters. Often the variables are packaged by dataset. Just below, here, you have the product name. If you click on it or on the identifier, you will be redirected to the product information page. Below, model, you have the product source. It can be also either observation from satellite or in situ, or model, or mix of them. Here, you have several information about the assimilation. So if I let my mouse on the first bullet, for example, I know that this product assimilates the SSD. It also assimilates the sea level, the in-situ temperature and salinity profiles, but it doesn't assimilate the sea ice concentration or sickness, of course. Here, just below, you have the ocean variable acronym. If you let the mouse over, you have the description in uh, the full words to have the about the, the, the variable. Then if you have any question about the variable, you have information here and you will be redirected to a glossary. Then here you will find the spatial resolution and the vertical levels for this product, 
you will find 31 depth level. Below, the temporal coverage, the start date and the end date of the product. This product being a forecast one, you will be you will find sorry data until now. Below the temporal resolution. In this product, you will find only means and daily means. Below, you have several shortcuts. The first one, more information. Clicking on it, you will be redirected to the product information page. The second one, the product will be added to your cart. The third one, WMS, the web map service is a means to request real referenced data information from a product. The subsetting information. This service allows you to access only the data you need. You can cut the whole product depending on your needs. In the right part of the cartouche, you will have a product a quick look. If you click on it, you will be redirected to the product information page. And just above this quick look, you will have the region of interest. Please note that the description of the cartouche is available in our FAQ page, clicking on here, technical FAQ. I now follow the link to go to the product information page, clicking on the product identifier. On this page, four tabs are available, information, documentation, services, and newsflash. In the information tab, all the metadata of the product are listed. Those that were already in the cartouche. So you will find a short description of the product, references, if there are references, geographical coverage, if it's observation or model, the product type, the processing level, the data assimilated by this product, the different variables, the spe special resolution, the vertical coverage, and the number of vertical levels, the coordinate reference system, the feature tip, the temporal coverage and resolution, the update frequency, the production unit, and the original file formats. Note that this information can be shared using CSW document, a PDF document, or you can also copy the link of this information. In the documentation tab, you will find the documents related to the product. There are two types of document. A product user manual, which is a more technical document, and a quality information document, which is more scientific. These documents are written by the producers and are available following the links in PDF format. In the Services tab, you will have the different services provided for this product. Data are directly available through these services like CSW, Catalog Services for Web, WMS, so Webmaster Service, Subsetter, so Subsetter allows you to subset the data and should be used if you wish to download a small part of the total dataset. The direct get file directly transfers the file as stored on the server. It is able to deliver compressed data and should be used if you wish to download larger datasets. And the FTP allows to download an entire dataset directly from the FTP server at the supply center. And finally, the fourth tab, it's a tab newsflash. 
So a newsflash is a real-time information products production event, such as a maintenance, an incident, or an evolution. On this tab, you will find all the events related to this specific product. You click on the title, you will develop the body, and you click again to title to minimize the body. On the right, you will have the status of this event. On the right side of the page, three shortcuts are available. The first one, add to cart, you will add this product to your cart. The second one, view product, you will access to our WebGIS visualization tool. And the last one, download product, you will be redirected to the download specific page. This is where this video ends after this last few details. You don't need to be registered to access these product pages. However, if you wish to download our data, you will need to open an account following the link Hello Sign In and create an account. As a reminder, access and use of data on Copernicus Marine Service is free of charge, whatever the application. Thank you for your attention and do not hesitate to contact us if you have any question by following the contact us link at the top of the page. Thank <laughs> you.